Good morning and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, I gotta go to work, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you out front and kinda give you an idea of what it looks like now and maybe what it's gonna look like. And I wanted to show you my grapevine. It's going crazy. I'm hoping it transplants okay. I don't know how we're gonna get it back there, honestly. <laughs> okay, so. I've got this overgrown clematis. I'm really over it. It takes over the porch. Look at it. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Hey, anybody want a clem clematis? And then look, this is what I come out to. Look at that. That is my no name $3 grapevine that I was pretty sure I was gonna kill since I killed every other kind of grapevine. And here it is in all its glory up and over my porch, which I really like. Um, and it's got clusters of grapes here, just tons of them. And these are little champagne grapes and they're sweet and delicious. So if you know, now I talked to the nursery about how to transplant it, but if you know, can I do it safely now or do I need to wait? Can I, yeah, what should I do? <laughs> Help me if you if you actually know. And then in these beds, we don't have any color until my daylilies come out. So, and I've got some weed control over there that needs to be done. I'm thinking, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I planted this tree, actually. This is a, a flowering plum, but these little plums, they're not ripe yet. They're edible. They're actually pretty good and really messy when they all drop on the uh, sidewalk. <laughs> Anyways, so okay, there's my grapevine. And I've got, I'm checking on my tomato plant out of here. Look at that. And this is a Marks or Parks Whopper. Yeah, Parks Whopper. So we got some dry soil. I'm going to go ahead and give it a drink. I give these out here, these pots, every two, three days. Give it a drink. But see, it's kind of plain Jane in here, it, other than the weeds. I need to clean it out and maybe plant some more food. Hmm. What do you think? Let me know what you would plant out here. And it's windy and cooler today. It's only going to get to 70. And so um, I... I'm excited. It's a little cooler. It's going to be cooler this weekend too. So it's a good time to work out in the yard. So let's go out in the yard. Got my hair's all wacky now. Let's lock the door so I don't forget that when I go to leave. Miss Doozer's going to stay in the house again, I think. Or maybe I'll put her out in the kennel with Sage. She was in the house all day yesterday and I don't know, I think it's a long time because as soon as she got out, she was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta show you too before I'm done. One of my subscribers, and I'm gonna say thank you. Hold on. Okay, so one of my subscribers sent me a message and it went into the spam, but I released it. A link to a website for me to get Franke seeds. And I've got a whole cart full of stuff. I think I've got seven packages I'm ordering for this fall and for next year and you get a fair amount of seeds so non-gmo um seeds from italy anyways and i believe that is the uh the website name seeds from italy but i'll, I'll double check i'll show you and i've discovered the girls this morning love radish tops i had a couple radishes and i threw them in there and they were like fighting over them so that was fun to find out. And I'm gonna reach in here by myself for the girlies. Cause they like kale. I gave them some earlier, but they can have a couple more. And then I'll be picking that um, middle head of lettuce with the red in the center, I think, or this one right here for our salad tonight. And um, just anxiously waiting for everything to come up that hasn't come up yet. Hi girls! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi girlies. Oh, it's 
stay out, Shotsy Doo. Woof. Nope. No chickadoos for you. Hi, girls. <laughs> oh, they like that tail. And I cut some grass for them. And over there, that pile over there, that is, um, and they like it because their craws are all full. Um, cauliflower. Chickens love cauliflower. So, all the girls are doing good. Huh. They're not too full for kale, though. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. I'll get this taken care of. And I've already watered. Did all my my morning chores. And I did get my onions planted last night. So, I think I only got about 50 um, out of that package of 100 that were worth planting. And... Uh, oh, the sprinkler, we had to fix where the pipe came off. We got it fixed, though. And, um, yeah, it just, you have to take the screw bobby off, and there's, a, like, a, a stopper. I don't know, Michael, I just show me. So if it happens again, I know how to fix it. And I, ooh, I'm super excited about the pumpkin. Maybe I should turn you around so you can see. Okay, so there's my bitty pumpkin, and I got one off to the side. I got some pole beans right there, and right where I'm standing, of course, there's one coming up right there, and a couple here. And the birds like to get those first leaves. Doggone them. There's my yellow squash, some more bush beans and peppers. And I've got one, one zucchini. That's it so far. But yellow squash. Actually, no, I, I take that back. There is one little leaf right there. That's zucchini. So we'll hope, we'll hope for that to grow. And let's see. What I usually do, come in here to see if something's germinated. I'll just come in here with my hand and move the dirt back. Let's see if we got anything moving and shaking in here. It doesn't look like it. I thought I planted it on this side of the stake, but... Oh, there's some seeds. Okay, they are germinating. Can you see that? See? See little, little split in the seed. So that's a good sign. Okay, we're going to leave them alone keep them nice and moist and they'll catch up trust me <laughs> okay tomatillos some there was a little bit of conversation about tomatillos do you need two so they can cross pollinate absolutely not your pollinators are going to come into the yard you can totally get one they're going to come in and be attracted by your flowers like that those are all pollinator attractors and then they're going to go, oh, look, there's a tomato flower over here. There's a tomatillo flower over there. And they're going to pollinate all your goodies. So don't worry about it. Anyway, ah, i got to do another dose of fish emulsion this weekend. And we got a garage sale this weekend. You guys need to get rid of anything? <laughs> you can bring it over. Okay, so... That's my morning chores out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and put the dogs up and get my butt to work. So guys, I'm home from work and my nail appointment and poor thing, she was running late, half an hour late. And it didn't bother me because I had marked the rest of the day out, but she was pretty stressed. And so anyway, um, so I wanted to tell you, there's a couple websites to go to for the seeds. And uh, one of them is Seeds from Italy, and it looks like that. Seeds from Italy, okay? The other one, uh, a couple of you left comments, and, and I, I left those comments up in the um, comment section with the links to um, different comments. Let's see if I find one here. Um, it might have been. Um, where is it? I'll try to leave a link down below. I'm sorry. Um, because 
it it really was helpful and I can go on this website and order all the seeds I've got eight packages in my cart so I thought though for uh, the month of July well actually it's for the month of June peep of the month I'm gonna give away some Frankie seeds or Fran Frankie I'm gonna give away some of those seeds for your fall garden so those of you that are gardeners or even if you're not and you know a gardener you know maybe I'm gonna pick seeds that even if you don't have property that you could actually grow and do an indoor garden or a patio garden and so I'm gonna give away Franke seeds and um, and I'm gonna show you later on how to do that indoor gardening and or you know patio gardening you can kind of already go by what's out here so trust me when I tell you I'm sorry it is windy outside so um, and the boys I just fed the girlies I gotta pick up their dishes because um, they, if I don't, Sage will eat all of it. So, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna come out here and I've got some stuff to give the chickens. Oh, my, my strawberries are, look at my strawberries getting ripe. Got a couple of them out there. And I planted some cabbage down here along the front of this, some red cabbage. We'll see if they come up, they come up. If they don't, they don't. I'm not as worried. And I ran the sprinklers today, so I probably won't run the sprinklers in the garden for two or three days. It's cooler weather, it doesn't need it. And <clears throat> all you do is water the weeds. Yeah, so, is that a strawberry in there? That somebody plucked and dropped? <gasps> it is. Well, those little, so here's a strawberry in my garden. And the bird plucked it and then said, oh, I don't like it. Rude. <laughs> Better not be Red Robin. Anyway. Um, so, let's see. I, yeah, I just have to water all the stuff in smaller pots. And then, and the beds that I just planted. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I have to figure out what's for dinner. My uh, grass-fed ground beef did not thaw out all the way. So I either have to do a skillet meal that doesn't require that, or I need to um, figure something else out. And I really want to use that. Nope, Shotzi back, back. You stay out. So what are you guys having for dinner? <laughs> I wish I had an idea. Oh, I'll figure something out. I have a pound and a half of uh, Zaycon grass-fed ground beef. Don't forget, if you guys haven't gone to Zaycon, go down in the about section and check out the links that I have, or the links that I have. You can go sign up for free and see what they offer in your area. And then I was gonna tell you about my kombucha. I have two going because I go through it so fast. Okay, and this is blueberry uh, kombucha again. I love it, Michael likes it. And I'll share maybe, I'll share um, one of those with him and the lids are popped up. This is what, day two? So tomorrow they'll be fizzy. Oh, well, they're already starting to fizz up, but um, tomorrow I'll put them in the refrigerator and stop the fermentation. I had, there was a pint jar as well, and I had that this morning, it was delicious. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna get started on making dinner. I made coffee for tomorrow. I've got this to give to the girlies, and girly girls, and some fermented blueberries in there. And um, I guess I'll bring you back and show you what I made for dinner. <laughs> okay, so I am making shepherd's pie. So super easy uh, because you, the ground beef, some of it was still partially frozen. And I was gonna make hamburger patties and I thought that's not really what I want. So I'm gonna make shepherd's pie and then we'll have dinner for tonight and possibly another night. Um, I might put one in the freezer. So I might freeze a bit of meal, but I don't do that very often because I cook, you know, every night and I forget that there's a meal in the freezer. The only time I do that is if I'm going out of town and Michael needs me too. So this is kind of a cheat night for both of us. Um, so shepherd's pie. And I'm going to give you... Huh, one of the best things I've ever found 
is no, these hash browns. I get these at Costco. So you rehydrate them, and I'm rehydrating right now with hot water. You rehydrate these, and you use that for the top. I don't have to make mashed potatoes, and it comes out crispy in places. It's delicious. So try this on your next shepherd's pie topping, and you will thank me for it. Trust me. I did this when we were on a trip, and I had planned to make um, venison shepherd's pie, and I had everything. I started cooking the potatoes, and they said, oh, dinner has to be at such and such. I'm like, what? I'm not going to have time for that. So I turned, I went ahead and finished cooking the potatoes and used them for breakfast, but I used this instead of mashed potatoes, and it came out fantastic, and I've been doing it off and on ever since. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, and home canned green beans and mushroom, yum, in beef stock, regular mushrooms, and I'm going to use some mushroom soup because... Got it in the pantry. It's pantry meal. Okay, so we have dinner, and I went out to the garden and picked some lettuce. I mean, a huge bowl. This plus this. Is it gorgeous? All that lettuce came out of my garden. So um, I had some cilantro in the refrigerator, so we're going to go ahead and use that. And there was a red onion out of the garden. And I use the tops of it as well. I want to make sh and tomatoes and cucumber, red cabbage, very healthy salad right there. And this is Michael's plate. So note the crispy top here mm. for the shepherd's pie. Oh, who doesn't love shepherd's pie? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna grab some of this out here and put this on the plate. I may have to taste it because I don't, uh, quality control, you know how that goes. I've let this sit on the counter and rest for a while and it's still screaming hot. And that's plenty. <laughs> Ooh, yum. Oh my gosh. The bottom got crispy as well as the top. I like that. Let's see, I'm going to taste a little bit of the bottom here. It's actually not that crispy. Mm. Very beefy. So let's get some pepper on the salad. And he's going to want honey mustard dressing, I know. So pepper on here. And so guys, guess who I talked to tonight? Brad from Big Family Homestead. And... I was on one of their live events, and, and he had said the other day he was going to call me, and then he didn't, and tonight he did. So, anyways, look, this is enough to feed an army. So, easy pantry meal, and out of my home can pantry as well, or my food storage, however you want to say it. And we're going to eat this beautiful dinner. I'm going to have like a fourth of this, and there you go. There's a shepherd's pie with the um, hash brown topping and a big green salad, the majority of which is out of my garden. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. So don't forget, don't go down in the links below. Check them all out. I've got Zacon where I got the meat. I've got an Amazon link where you can shop through that link for anything you want, and it helps the channel out. And um, go join me on Facebook. All right, Instagram oh, at Linda's Pantry. All right. Mwah. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm always in awe of the beautiful lettuce that I pick out of my garden, and I'm thankful for every bit of it. And here's our beautiful shepherd's pie. Michael loved it. He ate half. <laughs> LOL. And that was his plate. So 